So I'm here doing some laundry today at the laundromat behind me there. We're here at um, Elizabeth and Kenmare Street, between Kenmare and Spring Avenue. And um, the moon is in Virgo again today, very close to Saturn. And one thing that's going on is after the moon leaves Virgo and leaves its conjunction with Saturn, which will be um, on Saturday, then it goes through Libra, Saturday and Sunday, but the moon in Libra is then going to be hemmed, and hemming is a really important concept in Vedic astrology and I think in astrology in general because it shows the astronomical phenomena of when you have planets surrounding another. And you can just see this in the fact that of what's happening now because the moon has joined Saturn and then it's going to be in Libra and Rahu is in Scorpio. So we have Saturn and Virgo, Rahu and Scorpio. So then when the moon is in Libra, it's between these two difficult planets. And this means that there's this environment of intensity because both Virgo and Scorpio are holding difficult planets, holding malefic planets. So Libra now, and any planets in Libra, like if you have any planets in Libra in your natal chart, they're being hemmed right now by transit because Saturn is in Virgo and Rahu is in Scorpio. So over the weekend with the moon in Libra, even though it's not joined a malefic, it's hemmed by malefics. It's hemmed by Saturn in Virgo and Rahu in Scorpio. And then on Monday and Tuesday, the moon is going to be in Scorpio, joined Rahu and also debilitated. As you know, the moon is debilitated in Scorpio. So some intensity for the next few days for sure. Monday and Tuesday, of course, the moon is debilitated in Scorpio, joined Rahu. Rahu is planet of stress, imagined stress. It feels like Saturn. You know, there's this thing that says Rahu is like Saturn, and it's just kind of a general thing people say. It's not like it, it feels like it, actually. Rahu can feel like any of the planets when he's joined that planet, let's say in a birth chart or even by transit, but it, in general it brings the feeling that we get from Saturn, but in a different way, because Saturn shows the stress and the tangible fears we have, the tangible worries we have, like, for instance, a tangible worry would be losing our job. This is a known fear of the world, because we need a job, so we have money, so we can be secure and pay our rent and not be homeless and eat every day. Saturn gives us the awareness of time and we need to eat every day, not just today. And Saturn gives us that fear, that healthy fear, to make sure that we have enough structure. But it's about the known things of the world. So Saturn's worried about our job, he's worried about our health, he's worried about um, you know, making sure that we have enough stuff and we're afraid of losing those things. And that also includes like you know, losing our relationship, losing our job, those things that give us a feeling of structure. But Rahu is the imagined fears. Imagined fears are things like, you know, like jealousy. That's an imagined fear. Something happens and we just spin this kind of, oh my God, it might mean this. Or, you know, let's say we might actually have a circumstance that makes us afraid of losing our job. Like, for instance, there's been a rumor that you know, the company is going to downsize and they might be, you know, taking away my job. That's a, that's a fear of the known things of the world, like I might lose my job. But then the imagined fear that, oh no, this might happen, so it might happen to me, and the mind starts like spinning this big tail. This is kind of the nature of Rahu. This is the feeling of Rahu because Rahu is the part of us that has not been developed yet the part of us that's a little bit immature. And so one way that we gain experience is by trying a lot of things. And certainly something happens when we're confused and we're imagining things might be difficult is we start doing something about it. Um, but often the things we do are not very well informed. 
This is why over time, the things of Rahu get easier because we make a lot of mistakes based on our irrational emotional fears with Rahu and then over time we learn, okay, that's just an irrational fear. We learn that, you know, jealousy is not the best motivator or this fear of losing things is not the best motivator. You know, like for instance, someone might look at us funny and that can mean anything. It could mean anything, but, you know, Rahu might just kind of blow it up into some imagined thing. So Rahu feels like Saturn, but it's based on the imagined things that could happen. They're both stressful, and the moon is going to be hemmed on Friday and, on, I mean, on Saturday and Sunday in Libra, and then it's going to be joined, debilitated Rahu on Monday and Tuesday. And both Saturn and Rahu create Vata, for sure. They create stress and fear and emotional worry, like I said. So, this concept of hemming will be, is already in effect, but just because the moon is going to move out of the conjunction with Saturn tomorrow, you can expect over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, there could be some both residual feeling of stress because the moon has just gone over Saturn, which is what's happening, and some maybe approaching stress because the moon is about to join Rahu, and it's sort of anticipating what's coming next. And this is the thing, is that Rahu has been in Scorpio, affecting that area of life since early May, um, or since mid-May. And so Rahu has been there affecting that area of life, and Saturn has been in Virgo since the end of 2009. The other thing, to make it more complicated, you might say, is Saturn is actually aspecting Rahu in the sky right now, because Saturn aspects three houses in front. So Saturn has actually been aspecting Rahu as well. So it could definitely be a few stressful days coming up, and um, even though the moon is not going to be joined Saturn, there could be that feeling, that sort of hostile environment. It's like having stress on both sides of you. And when you look at it in the chart, when you look at it in a chart, you'll see Saturn in Virgo, the Moon in Libra, Rahu in Scorpio. And even just seeing that gives you the impression that, okay, I, that um, there's this sort of hostile environment. So just thought I'd make that quick video here. Having a good time in New York. I'm going to Boston tomorrow and just um, doing some laundry and thought I would give a quick update. So, have a good one. Om Namah Shivaya.